We're gonna do faux beams because we looked at the actual barn beams and they were like $2,700 a piece or were they? $1,800 a piece. Oh, he said $1,800 oh, a piece. that was a real beam. <laughs> yeah, it was a real barn beam. That was a real beam. And the length of the whole po barn. So we just decided to do the faux ones because it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Um, so this is the start of them here. We bought them at Menards. Uh-oh, I think my battery's going dead. Or it just went off. Anyway, uh, so we're just gonna build a faux box around these I-beams here. Two of them's going together, as you can see here. So I came up with this idea because in the future we may actually be, we could, we could possibly be able to turn that into a loft. So whatever we do with the faux beams, I want them strong enough to be able to hold a floor if we ever had to do it. Yeah, so above the kitchen area. So I'm on so up here. These are called eye joists. Uh, generally this is what they make flooring out of, floors out of and things of that sort. And what I'm gonna end up doing is each beam is gonna be two of these. It's snug right up against each other, just like this. Number one, this allows us to be able to run wiring in here and drill down to put lights underneath them here in the kitchen. So we can have lighting in the kitchen and it makes it a whole lot easier when I go to put the, to, you, you, end up, you end up putting boards on all sides of this that you'll end up staining or painting or distressing them to make them look like other beams. And the good thing is if you do it side by side like this and just put them together, this gives me a big surface for putting a board on that I can screw down to. It's, you know, perfect. Yeah, it's the same Same thing, on the, same same thing on the bottom. I'll be able to put one on the bottom, this one on top, and then the same thing goes with the sides. When you go to do the sides, you'll put a board on the sides. This isn't the same size, but it'll go on the side and it'll touch. I'll be able to shoot a screw right into this board and shoot a screw into this board. So literally, the boards will just be like right on each other to, to screw in. Normally, they would be out like this, there'd be a gap, and you have to shoot nails into these sides and try to get them lined up and it seem good and it's just a little quirky. This way, and I'm just gonna have them, I'm gonna cut them to size and then put them like that whenever. Now these are two by, two bys, I'll be just using three quarter inch, and we'll be using something like maple or oak or we might mm -hmm. use pine and then just distress and stain the pine, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll make that decision later on. We may just buy rough cut wood, we don't know. So that's open. Right now we're just gonna put the beams up and look at where they sit and how high we want to put them to get the right look. Yeah, so stay tuned. We'll do some, we'll do some video of us putting them up here too. See how it looks in the end. temporary beam right here just to just to rest the beams on. I got one on that side also. They're at the same height. So let's see what they look like. If you ever made this into a floor, it's not gonna be enough room up here. I mean, your ceiling's gonna be right here.
So from the store, these eye joists come in standard two foot increments, uh, 14, 16, 18 feet, 20, 22, whatnot. So uh, we only need them 17 10. So we are just about the right length, but uh, uh, I have to cut off two inches off of them. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna run up the stairs and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's the old one. You can see it sticks into the bathroom here, because here's the wall. And then let's go see the new one that he cut. Mm. There it goes. So it's got a little bit of room down there, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Looks good. It's not sticking through in our bathroom anymore. Not much longer, we're gonna have some Insulation in here next week. Next week, three days. It'll be here in three days. Foam gotta insulation. Gotta get these beams in and a couple other punch list items before then. So, on all, on all of these, the next ones I'm doing right here, I have to cut out a spot because of this pipe. So if you look on the inside. So unfortunately, we need to cut around this pipe. Not as far as this one was cut. That was that was just because of how that one sat. But all each one of them will have to be cut. So that'll fit in there. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Bye. so far. Ready for this one? Alright. So it's going against this? Should be marked up there. Well, there's there, right an there. X. Yeah, that's where it's going. This one will go on the, the, the side edge. of the X. 
and then the other one will go on that. Right here, so it's kind of in the middle of this then, yes. according to this. Yes. All right. We'll probably do that, do the same thing. And we'll probably That's fine. All right. Oh, I'll push forward. Yeah, I got it. 